to a very special grand final edition of the Colac Herald Sports Match, Colac and District's highest rating online sports show. My name is Ben Martin. With me, as always, is Alex, Mr Netball Baird. Alex, welcome. Thank you, Ben. Some exciting grand final results and a big week coming up for the Tigers. So. Let's start this, mate. That's right. We'll kick off with the Colac and District Senior Football, where Simpson has won at their first senior grand final since 1993 in just this stunning fashion. They, they, they thumped the Birragara Football Club by 103 points in the grand final, which, which shocked a lot of people, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, they won the, the game 21-13, 139-5, to 6-36. Nick Harding and Mark Clissold kicked five goals each for the Tigers, while their best players were Brenton Dijon, Brock Neal, Troy McLaughlin, Jamie Barry, Corey Bolsh and Tom Spokes. Yeah. Bolsh picked up the best on grand medal from the umpires. Um, while for Birragara, they had multiple single goal kickers and their best players were the skipper, Mick Davis, Jack Mellican and Josh Weatherhead. So a disappointing day for the Saints, mm -hmm. but no doubt they'll bounce back next year. In the reserves football now, Colac Imperials defeated Illawarra back to claim the premiership. They won 9-4, 58 to 5-6, Sean Finn kicked three goals for the Imps, while their best players were Heath Lehman, Josh Rodder and Reese Tillich, with Lehman picking up the best on grand medal. Uh, for the Bombers, Louis Broad kicked two goals, as did Jared Stinchcombe, who was among the best players, with Adam Donald and Will Bongers. In the under 17.5 football now, Birigara has claimed a fourth straight junior flag, so just an all-out dominance by this young Saints team. They won 14-13-97 to 5-4-34, so a pretty convincing win against the minor premiers. Nick Morrow kicked four goals for the Saints, while their best players were Josh Collins, Riley Davis and Ryan Burnett, with Collins picking up the best on grand medal. Fraser O'Gorman, the young fella, kicked three goals for the Imps, while their best players were co-captain Morgan Fenton, Jordan O'Dwyer and Tom Carl. In the under 14.5, South Colac has claimed back-to-back -back premierships after upsetting minor premier Alvi. Alvi went into this one as favourite, but the Saroos proved too good, winning 10-8-68 to 2-6-18. Clay Mulgrew kicked six goals in a best on grand performance, but the best on grand medal from the umpires went to teammate Dylan Slater in the midfield, while other good players for the Roos were Jack Foley and Aidan Barrow. Best players for the Swans were Regan Monaghan, Jack Riddell and Sam Marnie. So that wraps up CDFL football. Crossing now into the Geelong Football League action where Colac Tigers had a, a very exciting day for the club with their senior and reserves footballers through to grand finals this Go weekend. Tigers. The senior Tigers will play off their first premiership in 21 years after booking its spot in the grand final against minor Premier Leopold. They won their preliminary final clash against St. Joseph's 29-129 to 8-14-62. So they're heading into this grand final in red hot form. Jake Carmody kicked five goals for the winners while their best players were Dean Flakers, Jared Garner, Mikey Buchanan, Ryan Monaghan, Alex Adams and Andrew Kelly. The skipper for Joey's Brant Haight. Brant Haight's kicked three goals and their best player was Brenton Rees. Into the reserve football before we finish up. Um, Colac also booked a place in their grand final. They'll take on South Barland, who won the minor premiership in this weekend's decider. They defeated Grovedale in their preliminary final, 7-15-57 to 3-13-31. So both teams a little bit inaccurate in this one. Cody Spokes kicked two goals in a best on ground performance, while other good players for the Tigers were Mark Morrow, Chris Oborn, Jack Parker, Nick Lynch and Brody Finn. So good to see a couple of young fellas stepping up to lead the Tigers in this one. That wraps up the football. I'm now pass you over to Alex with the netball. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Going to start with Colac and District Netball A grade, and the Imps have continued their dominance in Colac and District Netball with what they were probably going into the match as underdogs after South beat them a couple of weeks ago, but they responded, showing how good a side they really are, with a 67 to 51 win against the Roos. First time in their past six outings that the game has gone over a four goal margin, so it proved how much they wanted to come out and win that match on Saturday. So big win for the girls. Coach Candy Robbins led the way with a best on court medal. Um, she also shot 10 goals in the win, so really good game from her. Other best players were Rhiannon Whitson in defence and Jess Finch who played in her third premiership for the Cats. While for South Colac, like they tried all day and Janelle Monaghan, the youngster, she played a really good game in the midcourt as did coach Nicole Mitchell and Chelsea Spears. While in goals, Beck Scott, 57 goals, pretty big performance from her on the big stage. While for the Roos, Tegan McNamara netted 50 and Nicole Mitchell, 21. Moving to the other grades, and South Colac caused a real big upset against Imps, who 
only lo- that was their second loss of the season. So they had a 44 to 34 win at Colac Central Reserve on Saturday. Um, Imps were going for three in a row, so uh, really good effort from the Roos in that match. In C grade, Otway Districts 33, just too tr- strong for Simpson. 32 in a thrilling match. It was looking like going to overtime, but the Demons held on in Lisbon's last game as coach of the Demons. So excellent win from those girls. In the junior grades now, and Alvi had an undefeated season, going through without it, without being beaten to win 41-31 against a gallant Irrawarra Beak outfit. Um, so excellent effort from those girls. While in 15 and under, South Colac 34 just got over the line to Otway Districts 34-33. So massive win from the young Roos. And in 13 and under, Alvi made it two junior premierships on Saturday with a 43-33 win against Imps. So that wraps up Kayak and District Netball for 2014. And But we've still got some Tigers a lot, seasons alive. We've got B grade and 17 and under going into grand finals this Saturday. But bad news for their 15 under side and C grade side who lost preliminary finals at the weekend. Colac Tigers in the C grade lost 28 to 34 to South Barwon, just outplayed on Saturday, but they had strong season in a really close competition. While the 15 and under side just went down by a goal in the preliminary final to Geelong West St Peter's 29 to 28. So disappointing into their season, but it was a good year from all from those two to- Colac sides. And Ben, that wraps up netball for this week. Thanks Alex and that wraps things up for us here on the Sports Match for another week. Make sure you grab Wednesday and Friday's Colac Herald to keep up to date with all the latest sporting news in the district and make sure you tune in next Monday for a very special Geelong Football League Grand Final edition. As we said, four teams in Grand Finals this weekend so it's sure to be a very big week for the club. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time. Go Tigers.